How's it going, everybody? Nick Daniels here, coming at you live, man, yet again. And today, I just want to give a quick video with spoilers about why I did enjoy Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Um, so if you have seen the movie, and if you, or if you haven't, I am going to spoil some of the movie. Uh, so there's your chance to uh, avoid that. Three, two, one. So overall, when I did my... Uh, or overall thought of the, the the movie. I didn't hate it and I didn't like it. Uh, I did a 60 second review on it, one of my uh, YouTube shorts, and I did mention that I just thought it was really meh. It was in the middle and I've kind of changed that. I think the movie was really nice to look at. A lot of pretty things going on. Overall plot was just awful. You know, if you've seen the first movie, it doesn't really make a big effect to it, I find. Like, they just bring back the main villain as just a clone of himself, which I, you know, always like, okay, whatever, out of the first movie. And I mean, humans are supposed to just be villains, but they never really show any point of the humans. And um, maybe I watched the wrong movie um, of just trying to be like diplomatic and talk things out. Now, in the first movie, they're, you know, it's a little different, um, but specifically on Avatar 2, you know, they just keep coming in and trying to kill him. And I just don't understand. You know, they don't even, like, upgrade or reinforce their equipment. I mean, i.e., they could shoot a bow and arrow right through the cockpit of, like, one of their quote-unquote helicopters and just kill them instantly, uh, which I've just never understood. You know, the big battle at the end was really anticlimactic. You had, uh, it felt like 20 people, and they just disappeared when the when the main characters got into the boat, which, uh, which was hilarious because the daughter, I can't remember her name anymore, she's that forgettable, just goes in. And just like instantly finds the mother and in, in the and gets them out of there, and I was just laughing. I was like, "You telling me they couldn't have just got out themselves? Like they were training that whole time to swim underwater too, breathe underwater. Um, obviously not going to be like super efficient at it, but uh, yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. Oh, we gotta go up here. <laughs> I was trying to. Uh, this is. Uh, it's just like this gravel thing here. I was gonna try to walk up here just to. Uh, finish my video, I look behind me and there's just a guy walking on his phone. Like, I guess he's doing the same thing. But, yeah, so the the, the plot was the biggest thing that I, I, I was absolutely struggling with. I just couldn't get behind it. The characters, you know, or whatever. I mean, like, now it's supposed to be like a family. So, you know, instead of just the main act, the main character and his, his betrothed, you know, now they have uh, the controversies of like, oh, wow, you've got like mixed blood. Like, you'd be a human you know, and uh, a local of the uh, planet Pandora. Now, if you're wondering why the humans are invading, they're just doing it for resources. Like, Earth is supposed to be dying. So they're like, we're going to take over Pandora. Uh, you know, and I, I just never understand, like, even, like, the end battle, like, it's clearly just set up for a third movie. You know, the uh, human kid that's in the movie, I, I, and again, I, I apologize, I don't remember all their names, uh, saves the, the villain at the end and then just hisses at him and jumps away. And I was literally just hysterically laughing. You know, it's like the end of the Ma the newest Matrix movie. Uh, just hilarious. I just couldn't get over how, how bad I, I thought that ending was. Now, they, they definitely set up the third movie. And I understand that. I completely get that they, they're setting up another one. But, yeah, I just get tired of it, man. Like, they set up these plot points that they just don't, they don't finish up. Like, oh, she can't uh, connect to the world tree anymore. She's going to die. Like, she had a seizure. Okay, okay. No, no comment on that further. You know, like, things like that just completely let go. I didn't hate the movie. Don't get me wrong. I didn't I didn't hate Avatar 2. I didn't like it either. Like, they're going to make some underwater technology, right? I'm like, okay, I can get behind that. Like, you want, uh, like, some kind of submarine or something. They made them, like, literally crabs that walk sideways, like, like metal ones. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, I just don't understand the point of that design. But, you know, and that's the thing. There's no comment to it. Like, there's no there's no explanation to it. It's just like, here it is. And you just have to accept the fact that that's what it is, um, which I think is just hilarious. Overall, didn't hate the movie, okay? Didn't hate it. Didn't really like it either. I think I, I spent a lot of time just kind of laughing at the randomness of the movie. Again, like, in the, in the end battle, I think, like, one, one guy died you know, from the locals. They just abandoned their own people on the treetops there. Like, they just probably just got burned to death. Like, I don't know why. Like, just in these movies, I kind of want the humans to either, like, win or, like, actually do something. Have a reason for, like, them being villains rather than, like, we need resources. 
Like, you know, make their, make it a point. Um, they even make like, I forget what the exact call, what they exactly call them, but I guess there's avatars. Um, is in the first movie when Jake Sully becomes one, right? Like he's crippled, he can't walk, and he becomes an avatar, like, like a local, and uh, he's able to, uh, you know, like blend in, right, and figure figure them out. And that was part of the movie was his like struggle to uh, to learn, and they just copy that over again, right? Except he's he's now they're just learning the way of the water, obviously, um, the movie title. So I mean, like I didn't I didn't mind that I didn't I didn't dislike it that that was the choice that they went with but like the colonel which is the the main villain is just like learning how to do all this stuff like just instantly which i think is hilarious like he, he's just easily picking it up and his whole group becomes avatars and like it's not even to infiltrate it's literally just to be stronger and you know like they didn't really get in too many physical altercations there was literally one so I, I just don't think like it actually was that useful. Like half of the half of the team that was avatars got killed off. Yeah, half of them that were avatars just got killed off before they did anything. And like early on, like they just walked around with like machine guns, but still could get killed by one arrow. So hey, that's just me though. Let me know what you guys think of the movie. Uh, if you guys have some different different opinions, I'd love to hear them. Take it easy.